Hi everyone, this is Ryan Runge with AECTEarthBlock.com. Today I'm testing a customer's soil again with our AECT small block press. In this case, the customer wants to know if he mixes 20% sand in with his native dirt, if he'll get a better block than just using the native dirt. Both case, in both cases with 8% cement. So I'm gonna make an 8% cement block with his native dirt and then also with his native dirt um, augmented with 20% sand that he has and just to see if it's even worth it to do that um, he's kind of hoping it, it doesn't make a difference and then he'll just go with the native dirt I've got 3.14 pounds of dirt so to add on an additional 8% I need to add about 0.27 pounds of cement. That's our 8%. Mix this in real good. This is assuming you're starting out with dry dirt to get that, that exact ratio, which we are. And that being the case, I need to add in some water to get our five to 7% moisture on our mix. We've got our correct moisture now. We've got everything mixed in. Now we can make some small blocks. I'm gonna press this to 6,000 PSI in the pressure gauge, which will translate into a true pressure of about 2,000 PSI, which is what we typically press a compressed earth block at on our normal uh, machines on our full size machines. 6,000. The block has now been pressed, so it's in there. Now I just have, have to eject it with the eject plate. So there we are with our 20% sand ratio, our 8% cement, and that's the first of our. Uh, we'll call it 20% sand. Okay, I've got my five blocks here made with 80% native dirt, 20% sand, uh, and then the 8% cement added into that. So now I'm gonna make some blocks with uh, just native dirt and then 8% cement. Okay, I've got my 100% native dirt with 8% cement added in. Okay, that's the last of five blocks with 100% native dirt for this customer and 8% cement. So I'm gonna let these cure for about a week and then I'm gonna compression test them in the same device and get a reading on what their compressive strength is. I'll follow up with that step next. Hi, this is Ryan Rungi again with AECTEarthBlock.com. We have these test blocks here that we made seven days ago, and they're two different recipes of this customer's soil. And uh, we're gonna see how well they do in the compression test um, and see if there's a difference in the one with with 20% sand added in uh, or not. So I'll take, I'll take this one that has the 20% sand added in and I'm gonna compression test it in our small block press. I went up over 6,000 PSI, um, which is almost to 6,400 6, PSI which is over 2,000 PSI, and I'm about to break this uh, device. So this is, a, this is a real, real good block, real, real good soil. Um, I couldn't even, it barely began to break some of these uh, pieces off the sides, but it, it's still structurally sound. So that's over 2,000 PSI with the sand. I'm gonna try it without the sand. Really the same result. This is a oh, easily over a 2,000 PSI block.
pretty much the same result. Started to flake off a little bit on the edge here, but actually didn't even break the block. It's still structurally sound. So that's good news. That means he doesn't have to add that sand in. I've been soaking these blocks, one of each recipe for eight hours. That's actually double what the, the requirement is to, to test if the blocks are stabilized. Four hours is the minimum requirement. I did eight hours. I'm gonna take them right out of the water. This is the one with the sand added in. <clears throat> Finally started to crumble at about, I don't know, 5,500 or so. So still 17 or 1,800 PSI before it broke. So that's, that's really good. It only needs to be 300 PSI uh, to meet code, which is a 10 times safety factor. That was about 17, uh, maybe 1800 PSI. Uh, let's try the one without the sand added in. That one gave up at about just over 4,000 PSI. So, uh, like, uh, which is like 1300 PSI when converted into reality. Um, so didn't hold up quite as strong, but uh, but held up in the water just as well as the one with, with the sand added in is still a plenty good block. The bottom block on a, uh, a 10 inch thick, 10 foot tall wall will undergo eight PSI of pressure. And this one just broke at 1300 PSI after being soaked in water for eight hours. So it's, it's plenty strong. So this is just one more application for the small block press that we make. And it's a good way to, to get some good real life test results. Um, don't have to go to the lab and pay for a bunch of, bunch of expensive tests. And I think we've proven that this customer's dirt is, is really, really good just in its native form. And there's no need to add that, that sand. Um, so, Thanks for watching and uh, check back again next time.